Hi there, uh, we're here with Jay. He's here for a four month follow up. Here is Jay's suture line. We did a max size case. We harvested Jay all the way from one side to the other side. We went as long as we can go and as wide as we can go and got as much donor hair out of there as possible. The suture line started here. This is actually a suture line. That's the beginning of it right there. Okay, so that's where it started. This is it right here. So let's take them all the way around. See, now you can kind of get this. See this? That's the line. And that goes all the way across. So if you don't know exactly what you're looking for, it's undetectable. That's the suture line right there. This is Jay's new hairline. These are all one hair grafts coming in. Okay, so the little one hair grafts, one hair at a time. Super soft, super natural. As you can see, even at four months, it just looks like it's thin, but this is gonna grow for another eight months for his final result. No one ever be able to tell that's a hair transplant. No scar, no detectable grafts. So we're here with Jay. I'm having a hard time finding the suture line in here. I think that's it right there. So you can see that actually it's very hard to see, but there's a very, very light indication of anything. And if you just look right in there, you'll see that it is really no larger than the wrinkle in the middle of your palm. And there is just where you see it, almost like the part of a hair. I mean, you have no problem with the short hair covering up anything back there because there's really nothing there. Not anymore. We're going to look in the frontal about three to four centimeters in the front part of this scalp. He's eight months post-op, so although uh, it looks like a, an absolute full head of hair, Jay still has a lot of growth left. Uh, as we go through this, you can see with the dark hair on the light scalp, it's a completely natural look as I comb through his hair. Uh, at eight months post-op, you're seeing what Dr. Bolton did with what we call the Bolton Whirl, the way the hair lies, it lies in a natural pattern. Dr. Bolton was able to identify with the few hairs that he had left actually how the hair whirls and swirls and continued in that pattern, which made it, uh, which makes it absolutely natural. So you can see how the hair just lies. So this is my seventh month coming for another visit to Dr. Bolton's office, my hero. And uh, I gotta say that my surgery is just, it's absolutely phenomenally incredible. I don't even know what kind of words to use because it just looks better and better every single time, every single day. I saw the before and after pictures uh, today and um, I cannot believe that was me. And I'm so excited that I did this. I just can't rave enough to anyone. I mean, please call me, email me. I mean, I'm just so excited that he did such an amazing job and such a pleasurable experience and that my results are just so spectacular. I couldn't be more pleased. Hi there, here we are with our patient Jay. We're about to begin the procedure today. How are you feeling so far? I feel relaxed, I feel calm, I feel excited. I'm ready for more hair. So let's take a look at the clock. We're starting the case right now at five after four. Right now what we're doing is we're harvesting the donor tissue. We're excising the old suture line so that way we're going to leave Jay with just the one suture line so even though it was a great suture line we're going to remove it uh, so that way if Jay chooses to cut his hair short he'll just have um, the one trace line uh, which a lot of the guys are today are so concerned about suture lines which for the life of me I don't understand why but I get it um, but at any rate that all uh, we're doing is just harvesting the donor right now and how, how are you doing, Jay? Are you having any discomfort? No, nope, just feel a little pressure. Now, do we pay you for these testimonials? 
No, you do not pay me for these testimonials. This is all free. Well, do you think we should pay you for these testimonials? Sure. <laughs> I get the, you know, it's funny because we get patients that will say, ooh, those are paid actors. You know what, because you did such a good job on your first testimonial, people thought you weren't even, uh, they thought you were a, uh, an actor. Are you an actor, Jim? I'm not an actor, I'm a real person. You're a real person. And uh, I'm here on my own free will. Okay. Uh, I'm a professional photographer. And uh, I chose to be here to um, make my appearance look more young and healthier. So more youthful. More youthful. And having such a great experience the first time, I have all the confidence in the world that Dr. Bolton will do his absolute best as he only can do. I have no idea what you're doing and I really don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs>
But we took that suture line and we harvested that donor. And so let's take a look at this. This is that suture line right back there, hidden in there. So it's hidden within the hair. So now you can see the little suture line in there, hidden behind. So then the hair covers up completely on top. So it's 100% undetectable. Let's take a look at that. That's it, right there. So you can't see anything at all. The whole way around. This is what it looks like when it's closed. So you can see it's completely undetectable uh, right after we harvested the donor. Can't see anything at all. All right, we just completed Jay's procedure. Uh, if you recall, we started this procedure at approximately four o'clock. It's right now about a quarter after eight. So in about four hours and 15 minutes, and we're completely done now. We've restored Jay's hair by recreating the hairline again, uh, filling in and building behind that with the multiple flicking unit grafts, the bolt and bundles, and then went into the crown and we're going to show you that in a second. Uh, but more importantly, how was your day, Jay? How did everything go? This was extremely comfortable, very relaxing, stress-free. Um, I almost feel like I'm, like I'm on vacation. <laughs> well, you don't get a better answer than that. You know, a vacation. He took a vacation from his work to get uh, about 6,500 hairs and uh, about approximately four hours of time. Um, anyways, let's take a look at what we did here so you can kind of get a feel for what happened today. We completely restored Jay's hairline with the, all the little tiny one hair grafts all the way around the front, little two, three hair grafts back there, and then all the way back here we have those multiple follicular unit grafts which create the density. So we went in between all the way through, blending in in between where we were before. Then what we did is we went through, filled in this top area. So we went all the way through the top, blended all the way in through the sides over here so you can see the graphs all the way through, all the way through over here. And then we went in the crown, and then we restored into the crown, built a spiral all the way around, so these graphs came in an angle that were going like this. These are going this way. These are going this way. You got it built all the way in and through the existing hairs all the way around. So you can see those little graphs in there. Those are all little graphs that we put in there. And if you want to kind of get a feel for what a graph looks like, so let's take one of these guys out, okay? So here's a graph that just came out. So these little black dots are the bulb of the follicle, okay? So if 